They're the three R's, roads, rates and rubbish. But one council's in a giant stink with ratepayers over a new bin tax. Do you think locals are going to cop it? No way. This is just rubbish. It's too easy to put your hand out and ask for more money. To the bank of ratepayer, every time they need more dollars, they just chit Here we go. It's a sound ringing in the ears of these angry ratepayers to the tune of up to $115 and it's called a bin tax. Consistently, when, we're, when there's a hole in the budget, they'll just pull the lever and say, up we go again. The City of Yarra Council in Melbourne is limbering up for a fight with locals. A fight it's lost before over bins and how much they cost the ratepayer. They're just finding new ways to scam everybody. More than 90,000 residents call this part of Melbourne home, like Caroline Harvey. The council claimed that there's uh, consultation. There's no community consultation. And Ken and Mary. I'm very worried that it will go from maybe 115 to potentially $1,000 in no time. They've always paid for their rubbish collection in their council rates that are capped, but not for much longer if Yarra Council gets its way. The council officers, the administration, the CEO, they're explicit, they're saying we need to pull that charge out from under the rates cap so we can charge basically unhindered. We don't know how this is even going to be rolled out. So what's being proposed by the City of Yarra and how will it work? The Council wants to remove waste surfaces from the General Rates Bill and instead list it separately as a waste service charge. Why all this extra paperwork? Well, we understand that by doing it this way, that charge will no longer be strapped by rate capping and the Council free to charge what it likes. It may not be a, an actual loophole, but it's a technical way for them to get around the rate cap, so it's a cash grab. Vice President of Council Watch, Dean Hurlston. It means that there's now no cap on the cost that the council can recover for waste services and recycling, so they can you know, raise it 20% a year if that's what they want to do. Dean says it's something the Victorian government is allowed to let happen, giving councils the green light to separate core services last year. It clearly helps their balance sheet. They're complaining that rate capping stops them from investing in services. And so because this is a core service, they've been able to negotiate with the state government to have it removed. This isn't just happening in the city of Yarra. Councils all over the place are doing the same. Most of the councils are going to four standard bins and they're actually implementing the separate waste charge now. According to the City of Yarra, 76 councils in Victoria have already made the change. So that means it's the last council in the state to line its pockets through its bins. It's certainly happening in other states as well. We're seeing a number of councils effectively lobby every state government in Australia to actually get around rate capping. But thanks to councillors like Stephen Jolly, it might just get tossed to the curbside in the city of Yarra. I'm doing everything I can to ensure that this doesn't pass next week. The council will take the proposal to a vote next Tuesday, knowing the same vote back in 2017 was abandoned. Well, they weren't going to tell anyone about it. They were going to start the consultation the day after the vote. That's not consultation. In a statement, the City of Yarra told a current affair the change allows Council to be more transparent. The Essential Services Commission monitors and reports on Councils that introduce new service charges to ensure that the rate cap is working as intended. They've told the councillors they're expecting to rake in tens of millions of dollars from local small businesses and residents. The City of Yarra reported an operating surplus of $81.2 million in their half-year report to December last year. In that report, it said that's, quote, $15.1 million ahead of the year-to-date budget. But according to Council Watch, it's a council with a spending problem. What Yarra's been doing is hiring too many staff. Um, compared to other councils its size, it is bloated. Um, those staff salaries, according to their own ASU, the Australian Services Union, are 20 to 30 per cent higher than the same job in the private sector. So the message from ratepayers, bin the bin tax. Work within your means. Every Australian has to. It's about time they did too.
The council is expecting things to get heated at next Tuesday's meeting. We're told it's hired private security guards.